Raymarine's been one of the biggest name in marine electronics with autopilots, radars, sailing instruments, and now they've really started to crack into the freshwater market with their Dragonfly products and even into the bass market with their ES and A-series units. And this unit here, the new Raymarine Axiom, these ones are really going to push them to the top of that, uh, that freshwater market. This is one of the nicest units on the market right now. It's available in the 7, 9, and 12-inch models. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So one of the biggest things about this unit is it runs their Lighthouse 3 software, which is their all-new operating system. And also it's a quad-core processor, pretty much the fastest one out there right now. So the screens are pretty bright. They do get a bit of glare on them, but they do have a very wide viewing angle, just like most of the products out there today. But they do tend to have a bit of a washed out look to them um, with that glare on the screen. The colors are vivid, but it's just uh, a little bit, uh, little bit of more glare than I'd want to see. The units, though, are very responsive with the touchscreen, and being that they don't have any buttons at all, you need a very responsive touchscreen, so they've done a very good job with that. One thing you'll note, too, just to show the processor speed, the little animations when you select uh, different screens, they're able to do stuff like that, and it doesn't slow the unit down at all. So these units here do have uh, different user profiles. So you're in a boat with multiple users, you can save all your settings and you can then uh, switch to the, the next person when they come on board. So you don't have to uh, go back and reset everything on your unit. From a fishing standpoint, this will be help helpful if you're a multi-species angler. If you're a bass fisherman, uh, you can have all your settings under uh, one user profile for that type of fishing. And then if you go out uh, trolling, downrigging and doing that type of stuff, you could set up the unit for how you like to have it under that profile. So this home screen is just like any other. Your, your main uh, buttons down here to get into your settings. There's a couple quick menus uh, right here just to let you know what's, uh, what's going on. You can get your satellite accuracy right there just to see how your satellite fix is. And then access to all your different screens. If you want to add a screen, just basically press and hold. And then it brings up your, um, your new uh, pane here. You can choose your layout. And then basically you just go ahead and select what you would want to view. So I'm going to do a three fish finder one. You can name them whatever you want. So there's my new screen. I can tap that and then the unit prompts me to ask what source I want. So in this one I'm going to do down vision. This one here we're going to do sonar. And this one here we'll do the real vision 3D. You can see how fast these units are at responding. So the orange box outlines which screen is active. You can just tap between them. One nice thing, if you want to change the settings on the screen, when you go in there to adjust your gain or other settings, it takes you to full screen. You can just tap it and then it'll go back to your split screen. You can add waypoints from the sonar just by long pressing and then add a new waypoint. So in the settings menu, there's one cool feature. You can select your starting page. So whatever page you're using the most, you can go ahead and uh, select that if you're on the fish finder. So now when the unit powers up, you'll have that, um, that option come up right away so you don't have to go to that screen. You also have the ability to put a keypad on it with a paired keypad. We can do quantum radar on this. The Lighthouse 3 operating system is definitely the easiest one I've ever seen on a Raymarine product. Most of the features that are on this, you could do with the Lighthouse 2. However, I found that I could find them so much easier on this. I could um, use them a lot easier. They're just, it's a lot more functional. The Lighthouse 3 software will be coming to the ES series of units as well very shortly.